Welcome to Stoichiometry for Ms. Lissy's classroom. Um, we are going to be using dimensional analysis to help learn to convert between um, amounts of reactants and products and chemical equations. So the keys here are, first of all, you have to have good formulas in your chemical equation. If they're ionic compounds, the charges need to be balanced. Uh, if they're covalent compounds, they need to be correctly written. Then you need to balance the equation. Make sure the number of atoms of each type are the same on both sides. Then you need to write down the given and the unknown. A lot of times I'll use the guess method, but it's not required. I do always write down the given and the unknown, and you have to have the balanced equation. So it's just a way to keep everything organized. We'll have to use a mole ratio to convert between the chemicals. And that basically is a, a proportion using the coefficients. From the balanced equation. And then using dimensional analysis to solve everything. Alright, so exercise one. How many grams of water can be made from 5.6 grams of hydrogen? So that's A. And how many moles of oxygen are needed? So we have a two-part problem here. All right, first I'm going to start off with my given. And I have 5.6 grams of hydrogen, which is diatomic, so I need to include that. My unknowns are to first find the grams of water that would be formed, and to second, find the moles of oxygen that would be formed. The equation that I'm working with here is how many grams of water can be made, so that's our product, from 5.6 grams of hydrogen and how many moles of oxygen are needed. So those are the components of my equation. Hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas makes water. And I need to balance this. Right off the bat, I can see I only have one O here, but I have two here. So I need to change the coefficient, put a two in front. Now I have two O's and two O's. But now I have four hydrogens, so I have to put two over here also. All right, in terms of the substituting, got my given unknown equation. Substituting, I'm always going to start with my given. That's going to be the value that we begin all of our calculations with. The next thing I have to consider is that the mole is, again, the heart of chemistry. Without the mole, I can't relate different units. I can't relate different chemicals. So I first have to get to a mole. I've got grams here at the top. So I'm going to have to put some number of grams of hydrogen at the bottom to cancel that, and I need my molar mass. Two hydrogens at 1.01 each gives me 2.02 grams of hydrogen in one mole of hydrogen. The next thing I need to consider is, now I'm into moles, now I can switch from the chemical I'm starting with, hydrogen, to the chemical I'm looking for, water. So I'm going to go into my equation, and I see that I have two moles of hydrogen to begin with. And then over here I'm looking for water. That's also two moles. And finally, I want grams of hydrogen, not moles, so I need to use molar mass again. So one mole of water has 16 for the oxygen plus 2.02 .02 for the hydrogen, so 18.02 .02 grams. Then I can multiply through and divide as needed. So as I multiply 5.6 times 2 times 18.03, get an answer, 
4.04 on the bottom, divide the two of them, and I end up with 50 point grams of H2O because my significant figures only allow me to have two places in my answer. All right, for part B, that's part A. For part B, I'm still going to start with my given. So 5.6 grams of hydrogen. Again, mole is the heart of chemistry, so I have to get to a mole first. So 2.02 .02 grams of H2 and one mole of H2. And now my relationship is between something different. I'm still starting with hydrogen, but now I'm going to oxygen. So back into my equation, two moles of hydrogen, coefficient there, only one of oxygen. I need to cancel out the hydrogen, so I need to put that on the bottom. The old unit goes on the bottom. Two moles of hydrogen to one mole of oxygen. And for part B, it's asking us to find moles of oxygen, so we're actually done. So it's just 5.6 divided by 4.04, .04, and you end up with 1.4 moles of oxygen. All right, moving on to exercise two, uh, talking about the TNT, trinitrotoluene. Uh, you want to solve this in a very similar manner to what we just did. I'm actually only going to give the answer for this problem. Um, and I'd like for you to use the previous question, especially part A, as a guideline to what you need to do. So the answer for this problem is 20.5 grams of nitric acid. And if you're one of my students and you need help, you need to come see me to figure out how that one is done. 